So you want to know how to make a fish animation like this in Blender. So first we need a we need an image of a fish and I'm just going to choose this one. So just save image as and in Blender we just want to file import images as planes and go to our image. So here's my image. I'm just going to delete the default cube and go over to the material preview. Just going to rotate this so it's flat and go into top view and rotate this again so it's to the side. Now I'm going to add a cube and hit control one to add a subdivision and just scale this down so we can see our model right here. What we're going to do is just go into this wireframe, uh, the x-ray mode, toggle that. And now when we select this, we can just move the entire cube. And what we're going to do is just fit the cube to fit in the um, to fit in the fish. So I'm going to speed this up, but you should just follow what I'm doing. Extruding and scaling down. It does not have to be perfect, uh, but just get a rough uh, outline of the fish. So we have the fish right now. Um, and if we go to the side, just hide this. We can see the fish looks a little bit goofy. So what we're going to do is just enable proportional editing and scale this down a little bit make the fish a little bit flatter like this this is uh this is fine so here we have our fish we're now going to apply the subdivision and go back to the material preview and right now what you can do is just uh, select one of these edges that's on the um select one of these edges that's in the middle of the fish and just hit extrude every time we see a fin so we can extrude here scale it down a little bit place it here and extrude again and that's fine uh, right here we just have to yeah we could either like slide this or you could have just chosen one it doesn't have to be perfect you know just uh, placing that here so we can extrude again and extrude again and that's it for that one so we can delete the plane we have our fish we should um recalculate the outside and we can go over to the shader editor and add a new material and in the material we can just add an image texture and then we can select our image right here plug it into the color and what we're going to do is hit um, the top view again and then you um, uv project from view and in the uv editor we're just going to resize our fish to fit in our fish in the image. So that's something like this. And we have some white spots here. So we just enable portion editing here and kind of tuck that back in. So everything just looks like the fish. So this looks great. Um, the image is just unwraps nicely on the fish. So what we can do now is just enable some, um, make this a little bit less rough, shade smooth, of course. Um, and we can use the image for the roughness. So if we just view this, and make this a little bit darker and plug that into the roughness. And of course, add some bump and just use the image for that. So here we have our fish. So what we can do now is just um, put that to the side, add a plane and add an emission to that. So go to the particle system, add emitter and we're going to grab a timeline and just see these particles fall down. We don't really want the particles to fall down, so we're going over to the field weights and disabling the gravity. Now it's going up, increase the lifetime. So here we have our fish, but we want to follow a curve with our fish. So what we're going to do is just add a curve. So with our curve, we're just going to set uh, it to force and shape as curve. And now we need to change our strength to a minus so now our particles go along the curve instead of away and we can change the flow to make the fishes um, swim more along the track 
so right here. So I suggest something like one. Or maybe two. And now we have our particles following the curve. Now the only thing we need to do is just go over to the particle system. And in the render, render as the object and just our cube. So our tuna. And now we can see a lot of fishes appear. Uh, but these are all si sideways. So in the rotation to get our fishes just following the curve in our rotation just enable dynamic with the velocity in here and now if we play this we can see our fishes just swimming so that's the basic uh, particle system for this right now we just need a background and to hide this in our render so render show emitter off and add some randomness and do some the usual particle things you would do change the counts and the frame start and end and, and things like that but for now this works fine just going to set up my camera something uh, somewhere right here and in your render you can just see it looks really bland so the background just make that um like a sky color maybe Something like this. And then we're going to add a cube and make this a fog cube. So disable this, go over to the volume and add some uh, volume scatter. Something like this. And we can add a spotlight right here. Enable the strength to like. 100 and we can see our fish here just do some basic uh, EV things what you can do as well is um, just duplicate this plane and in the emitter just make this unique so a different particle system and get a different object like in icosphere place that here as well and just in the render select the icosphere and now you have bubbles so if you look in the render you have some bubbles here you can give it an, a material of course so like a glass material And this looks fine. This looks like a bubble. You can maybe add some Fresnel on there as well. Yeah, this looks uh, better. So Fresnel in the roughness and that's fine. Maybe some motion blur, not too much. So yeah, this is basically how I made uh, that scene. Uh, you can maybe add an emission cube here. Let's go here and add some fog. And remove this. And then the right here and just add an emission. 0 0.01, something like that. And just give this maybe some muddy water look and here we can see our uh, bubbles right there and our fishes is swimming along the curve uh, you can change the curve however you like uh, or add a different one to kind of interact with it and then you can place your camera wherever you want and you should end up with something like this so i hope this helps and i hope you can um, do something cool with this uh, so if you enjoyed this video please leave a like and subscribe and leave a comment with what you want to see next and i'll see you in the next one goodbye